Good day. In this video, we're going to show you that we sometimes need to change thirds to exponents to simplify the problem. Here is a typical grade 11 and 12 third simplify question. Question says simplify the following three thirds. In this case, what we do is we change this square root to a bracket with a half in the air because there's a small little 2 there, I make that a half. Because there's a small little 5 there, I make that a fifth. And because there's a small little 3 there for cube root, I put a little third in the air. Then I write this as an improper fraction. Keep the other two. Then we prime factorize all these big numbers. The 25 becomes 5 squared. The 4 becomes 2 squared. 32 becomes 2 to the power of 5. 64 becomes 2 to the power of 6. You can do this prime factorizing with your calculator. Go and look at the video that says prime factorizing with my calculator. Then we use our third exponent law and times that half with that small 2 in the air, the half with that small 2 in the air, the fifth with that 5, and the third you times by that 6. If you times that half in the air with a small little 2, you get 5 to the power of 1. If you times that half in the air with that small 2 in the air, you get a 2 to the power of 1. If you times that fifth in the air with a 5 over there, you get 2 to the power of 1. If you times that third in the air with a 6 in the air, you get 2 to the power of 2. Because I now see a fraction in this calculations, I change everything to fractions. 5 over 2 stays, the 2 becomes a 2 over 1, and the 2 power of 2 becomes 4 over 1. Then I add these fractions, whatever way you like, I do it this way, and then my final answer is a half. Before we do the second one, please remember, if there's anything in certs and exponents that you're not sure about, you can send your problem to us with a WhatsApp photo to this number, and we'll try and solve your problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free. So here is the other sum where they ask me to simplify these thirds. Here again, I change all the thirds to exponential way of writing. Because that is a cube root over there, I put a little third in the air. Keep this as an improper fraction and keep the minus a half. Change this square root to a half in the air. And change this cube root with a three over there to a third in the air. We also made this into an improper fraction and an improper fraction. Next, we prime factorize these numbers again. Like I say, look at the video. Prime factorize with my calculator. 27 becomes 3 to the power of 3. 9 becomes 3 squared. 4 becomes 2 squared. 16 becomes 2 to the power of 4. 9 becomes 3 squared. 125 becomes 5 to the power of 3. And 8 becomes 2 to the power of 3. Again, using exponent law 3, I times that third with that 3 in the air, and I get 3 to the power of 1. Times that minus half with that 2 in the air, I get 3 to the power of minus 2. 1 times that minus half with a 2 in the air, I get 2 to the power of minus 1. Times that half with a 4 in the air, I get a 2 to the power of 2. And times that half with a 2 over there, and I get a 3 to the power of 1. Times that third with a 3 inside there, I get a 5 to the power of 1. Times the third with a 3 in the air, there, I get 2 to the power of 1. Because I see fractions over here, I change everything to fractions. I make that 3 a 3 over 1. That is negative exponents, so I take the 3 to the minus 1 down, it becomes positive, and the 2 to the minus 1 up, it becomes 2 to the power of 1. That's why this changes to this. This 2 to the power of 2 becomes 4, and then the 3 stays at the bottom. And this stays plus 5 over 2. Because this is now fractions plus and minus, I will add my fractions. My final answer will be 4 and 5 sixths. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video, and subscribe to the channel.